so good morning friends i am vivek once again welcoming you all in my channel name gis and research as you know in my previous week lecture i have explained about various data products of modis satellite imagery and there we have explained how to uh, what are the different data products of modis land surface temperature evapotranspiration then leaf area and those things we have explained what are the variables is there and what types of satellite and how we can use this those things i have explained in my previous videos so uh, today's lecture i am going to explain uh, how to derive land surface temperature from satellite image particularly we used to do from land landsat satellite imagery landsat 4 landsat 5 landsat 7 and landsat 8 right so today we are going to see how to derive land surface temperature from landsat satellite data sets so before starting the today's lecture i want to give you a little description about the tool today i am going to use so today i am going to use the qgis software which is open source now here we are having a tool so uh, through that tool we will get the land surface temperature and it's a very easy process within 20 second you will get land surface temperature by using landsat data series any data of landsat series like landsat 4 landsat 5 landsat 7 landsat 8 so that's depends so first we have to go in first you open this uh, qgis like here i have opened the qgis now here you have need to go in plugin section and in plugin you are having manage and install plugin section now here you just open this and just search rs and gis so friends here is the tool this tool we are going to use today to derive modis to derive land surface temperature from landsat data series now here we will see the description little description of this tool so this is rs and gis the tool name operates on raw satellite data of landsat 128 that is given over here and lis to produce standard output and user defined custom band outputs so this tool perform well defined algorithm on raw satellite data to produce to produce popularly used output like land surface temperature atmospheric satellite brightness uh, temperature normalized difference vegetation index normalized uh, vegetation difference water index and true color composite false color composite it is this these things it will provide and here also you can see the same thing they have given the details now from here you need to install as i already install so no i am not here i am not showing how to install it it's very easy process just click here and it uh, i think for you it will come install for me as i already installed it so it is coming as reinstall plugin so here i am closing the uh, tool so after installing the tool in your qgis software it will appear over here uh, and it will looks like this and this is the logo of that particular tool so if you click here this toolbox different features will appear so here is the detail of this tool so here we have to provide the data now this is the raw data inputs and here is the output so in output we can see the deep blue blue green this all bands is given over here and if we give the band detail it will give me as output reflectance and radiance of that particular bands this is one kind of outputs the second kind of outputs we will get from here that is true color composite false color composite ndvi ndwi atmospheric satellite temperature in celsius and the land surface temperature in celsius so for example if you have any algorithm you just type over here and that also you can use as a different output so that for that it is given over here you can type your expression over here and it will give that so let's have a look how to do how to derive land surface temperature from landsat data product so for example i am having a landsat data which i have saved over here uh, it is here in test lst 
and that is landsat 5 so here i am having my study area boundary so i will see how we can get the result so here we have to put the data so if we click over here it will show three option that is compressed file extracted file and folder containing the extracted data folder so as we can see in my data i am having the compressed file that is zip file you can see over here that is compressed file so we'll select compressed file so here we need to select compressed files so now we have to browse that and we have to go that particular folder now in s drive i have already saved this data so it is located in my s drive and this is the land surface 5 data uh, landsat sorry landsat uh, 5 data now if we click this and just click on open now my data as i have given as input it will appear over here as you can see landsat 5 l5 this is given over here now in the second section they are asking select the area of interest in safe file format now if you are having a study area safe file you can put it over here so here for example i am having a safe file of durgapur so just i am clicking over here and it will appear so here also uh, it is appearing over here selected area of the area is given over here now if your landsat data is belongs to like landsat 8 so you can exclude your uh, cloud and cloud from your analysis so if you click over this two uh, or uh, if you click over here only also it will uh, remove from your analysis part so if you having cloud coverage data just just click over here and just it will uh, exclude your cloud portion from satellite data and it will do the analysis now here as my satellite data is landsat 5 so no need no need to do these two things so here ignore no data values so if your satellite data product is having no data so it will ignore it so we have to click over here by default it will be checked on checked uh, it will be checked only so here if you see uh, toa reflectance and toa top of atmosphere radiance and top of atmosphere reflectance so we know it uh, we don't want these things we need lst so we have to click over here now when we will click over here here it will show selected land surface temperature so now this that's all you have to do now if you click start processing it will start it will automatically start its uh, processing and it will give as a extracted bands so here the various bands it will extract automatically so sorry guys actually my QGI suddenly crashed so we'll do it again so after clicking over here uh, this will appear like this and you have to just tick uh, check in here so if you checked in here and uh, just click start processing so it is processing as you can see over here now it is processing actually now you can get this lst product over here now if we drag it over here this lst product this is the final output as you can see 23 degree centigrade and here 36 degree centigrade this is guys you can use this tool it's a very useful tool in qgis and uh, uh, if you are doing project work or research work this is this is going to be very useful for you people because it will give a very uh, if will, it will give output in a very short duration just a 20 second or 10 second it depends upon the uh, study area uh, size what is the area size and also you can see uh, you can see over here that not only lst 
it is having ndvi ndwi if you want you can take it over uh, you just click it and by simple clicking you will get the output and also if you are doing a uh, top of reflectance if you want this is output you just click it and it will come and also if you want to put some expression like if you want to write some expression some formulas if you want to calculate something so you can write over here and just put a output name this will also work in uh, different cases so this is actually a very good tool which can explore your knowledge which can uh, you can explore the satellite data product in a very useful way so no need to uh, write such a long formulas for uh, to derive a land surface temperature from landsat data series so it's very easy easy trick so if you like my video uh, please subscribe my channel and also don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get my next video uh, notification uh, so thanks for today thanks for watching my videos have a good day